Welcome back, Honest Man, here playing Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. A little bit of housekeeping between episodes. I did end up putting a little bit more time into Fighter. Uh, specifically, I came back to the Castle Ruins here and cleared out the bandits out front. And as luck would have it, that was enough to get me to Fighter Rank 5, which enabled me to pick up Sinew here, which increases my carry weight. No character levels in that process, just a rank and fighter, and then I subsequently switched back to warrior. So me and Honest Man are both warrior once again. He is not yet to fight a rank 5, so I'm going to be looking for opportunities to make that happen so he can also acquire Sinew. In other news, I have a whole bunch of additional quests, and these I could have gotten sooner, I believe. A lot of these are from the notice board in the encampment. So just do be aware there is a notice board in the encampment. There's some quests there we can pick up. Last but not least, we're going to be continuing the Dying of Curiosity quest here. And to do that, you want to make sure that you have three green warish in your inventory. So do make note of that. All of that said, we are back in the ruins of Ernst Castle here. And we need to chat with the leader briefly. He's going to give us a quest. Yeah, so of course he has errands he needs doing. He's going to give us a choice of two things. And one of the two is going to be on our way. And our way, more specifically, is the Witchwood. Last episode, we took the fork in the road west to reach the castle ruins. And this episode, we're going to take the fork in the road east to go into the forest. So, yes, he does. So, once again, he needs more herbs. This time, as I said, the magic number is three. A thousand apologies, Scott. I'll straight away to home, and no delay. You have my word. I feel more familiar with this quest now. Okay, so we'll be able to cash that in shortly when we return to Casardis, but we have more work to do in the forest here. Specifically, Lost and Found. We picked this up a long time ago to track down Quina in the Witchwood. And sure enough, she's mere paces within the wood. So she came here to meet the Witch of the Wood as it were. So we have to escort her, and she's already hurt. So, that'll be fun. One thing to note about the Witchwood is how foggy it is, not just visually, but also the map being obscured. There are certain totems hidden throughout the Witchwood that are creating that effect. So if we destroy those totems, like this one, the map is revealed. I think there's three total, so we'll be on the lookout for those as we work our way through. There we go, Miasmite. If you happen to be in the forest at night, that's kind of a good thing, uh, because those phantoms drop Miasmite, and we're going to need one of those for a quest. That must be it. Come on, cuz. Begging your pardon, but we seek the witch of these woods. She is dead. She died, as all must. You have our thanks. We'll leave you in peace to return to our village. So that concludes our current business in the Witchwood. We are going to head due north. 
and there'll be a path here to take us out of the woods. Treasure, perhaps? And it's hard to tell from nighttime, but that basically give us a path straight over to Casardis. So we just need to drop down this little hill here. Okay, so that's perfect timing. That's, that was on our checklist. But before we investigate the well, uh, we're going to turn in the quests that we already completed. Alright, so we got that taken care of. Got her back from the Witchwood. And then we picked up No Honor Among Thieves from Maul back at the castle ruins. He gives us the choice of wiping out a gang of bandits, or tracking down someone in Casardis here, this fellow. Maul spoke of me. Return to Maul and offer up your life. Aye, I fear you have the right of it. And as soon as Pike leaves town, the quest updates. And then resting until morning, don't forget to track down the conclusion of the Dying of Curiosity quest. I am pleased to see Valmiro abound. In any I've gained quest knowledge. There we go. Now back to the well. Places fit to set the hairs on your neck to standing on end, huh? I So it's more it's more lizard men. They're back. Gotta clear them out again. So Deeper Trouble is the quest. The same location where we last fought the Lizard Men. Just need to get into the deeper part on the right hand side. And there's a bunch of them about. There are also eggs. You can see the eggs there. That's really what we're after. We want to kill the eggs. And even just setting the eggs on fire is going to make them try to extinguish the eggs rather than try to murder you. So that's a pretty good trade. Uh, especially when there's so many. Like they could just swarm us potentially. Especially on hard here. But just get those eggs on fire and they're going to be distracted by that. And just pick them off. Piece of cake. Once enough eggs are destroyed, the queen will come out. There she is. Piece of cake. There we go. So we just make sure all the eggs are destroyed and then head back out. The beasts are slain then? I've learned what to do in this quest. I'll take that. Back at the encampment, the notice board that I mentioned earlier has some additional quests here. One for snakes and one for wild boars. While we're here at the encampment, I'm going to upgrade to Corona Slash, since I am now Warrior 6, as well as Arc of Might. I like Arc of Might on my main, but for my pawn, I'm going to stick with the Lash skills. So that's Whirlwind Slash and Corona Slash for both, and then Arc of Might on the main and Indomitable Lash on the pawn. I feel like that's a pretty good setup. Uh, I'm not going to claim to be an expert on all of the warrior skills, but I feel like that works pretty well for me. I don't think there's technically any hurry to have to turn in No Honor Among Thieves, but at this point in time, the roads should still be cleared from wiping out the bandits, 
So it's a relatively easy walk back to the castle ruins. And then we can ferry stone back to Grand Soren. While we're here, the notice board again has seen an update, this time with Trail of Corruption. Acquire the Tribute Ledger. Also down in the Pawn Guild, be sure to check the notice board. Pretty much check the notice boards every time you happen by. The Tribute Ledger in the Trial of Corruption quest can be found in Forneval Manor here up in the Noble District. Second floor. There it is. This could subsequently be used later in a quest further in to try to convict Forneval, but I don't think that's the right way to go. I think you actually want to try to prove his innocence despite his potential guilt, uh, just because that's more beneficial to you. In any case, we're also here to chat with him. Arisen. Sir, I am in dire straits. So basically, he has some business to take care of, and he wants us to occupy his daughter here for a bit. So that is the mission. Escort duty. Simone. It is my name. Simone. I've never seen an arisen. I will admit Yeah, so she's said. completely do as you're bidden, insufferable. But the first thing we need to do is say, yes, you are understood. We're to do your bidding. A fine response. We shall be... We'd best keep Simone in sight. And this is a very particular quest if you don't know what you're supposed to do. Do not bump into her. No matter what, don't talk to her unless there's a prompt explicitly to do so. And try to keep pace with her. Don't get too far away. That's the spot where some people bump into her. So <laughs> it's best not to trail directly behind her. It's better to be to her side in case she does anything like that. Why do you suppose the dragon attacks mankind? Are we a particular delicacy? And brave, what was it eating until now? This part threw me at first because I thought as she was expecting me to reply. But there's no bubble above her head, so you just stay silent, keep walking. Just walking about is dreadful dull, don't you think? So here she does get the text bubble. She's going to go hide somewhere we have to find her. There's two places she can hide, and you need to find her quickly. First place to check is inside the inn. And we got lucky. There she is. My, sir, I am impressed. I had feared you would give it up for a child's game, but it seems you're not encumbered by pride. We've done it! Are your travel preparations complete? Enough! I tire of this place. Next to the markets. Come along. Now the markets. The markets are crowded. The other place that she could have been is behind the alehouse, just past the notice board. And in this market section, you just want to stay close. Don't interact with her. And then here we have to talk to her. She has the bubble. Oh, I can go no further. I am half dead of thirst. Pray, go and fetch me some water. In a proper flagon, naturally. Am I understood? I feel more familiar with this I believe it's that way. Really I tell you, I get back all the time. And here we can get a flask of water. Would have been better if you already had it in your inventory. But this should work as well. And again, just be careful not to bump her. Then speak again. So this is kind of a, the home stretch. She wants to race to the gate. 
this is a little tricky. You want to be moving constantly. Again, don't bump into her. Also, don't sprint. We're just moving our normal sort of jog speed. We do want to let her win, but you can't let her win by a lot. Like, you have to make it look like you're trying. So I'm just going to take a little bit of a wide route, or at least wider than her route, so that we finish behind, but not super far behind. So now we speak with her here. I thank you for today. It was quite the diversion. And if she's heart? pleased with I your behavior, you get the gold idol. Now we picked up the bronze idol in the Witchwood in Celine's hut, and I didn't even bother to mention it because if we play our cards right and get the gold idol, then the bronze idol is immediately obsolete. And what the gold idol does is bestow a 30% discount with all vendors. The bad news is that we're going to need to use the gold idol for a subquest that's coming up. So we're going to lose it. The good news, however, is that we can create a forgery of the gold idol. And that will work exactly as well as the original. That's noteworthy because in most cases, any sort of magical effect is not inherited onto a forgery. So you sort of have something that looks the same but has none of the properties. The gold idol is something of an exception. The forgery works exactly as good as the original. So we'll be able to use the original for the quest that's coming up and then keep the forgery and keep our 30% discount. So we come down to the Venery District here at the Black Cat. And we're gonna have him create a copy of the gold idol for us. It does cost 187 grand, 187.5, but we have plenty in hard mode. If you're playing on normal mode, you might have to pull that money together a little bit, but either way, absolutely want to do that. And that'll take approximately 24 hours, game hours. And that's going to be a wrap. Next episode, we're going to get back on track with the main quest line, Lure of the Abyss. We're going to figure out what's going on in the basement of the Pawns Guild. Until then, thank you all so much. Please like and subscribe. This has been Honest Man and Mary Abernathy, and we will see you next time with more Dragon's Dogma.